Sure. It's a cloudy, rainy, yucky day outside, so let's talk about solar energy in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Kyle, let's start with you this morning. What are we talking about here, solar energy in Indiana? So, basically, um, we have a new solar cooperative coming to Indiana County, and a solar cooperative is essentially a really great opportunity for anybody who in- who's interested in getting solar panels installed on their house to have probably the best price uh, that they could ask for to do that because the way that the solar cooperative works is we have sort of a group rate with all the members in the cooperative that go in together and it drives the price down so everybody kind of wins who's interested in putting solar on their house there you go and and shireen from the commissioner's standpoint but really from a personal standpoint i know that the energy and alternative energy sources have always been really close to you that's true and i want to applaud indiana borough for taking a lead on the solar cooperative uh, it was um, it did did come out of our sustainable economic development task force uh, in a way, and I'm really pleased about that. Um, and I, you know, as solar is really picking up traction, there's just no doubt about it. And I'd like to I hopefully in in the future we'll get away from calling it an alternative fuel source because uh, I think it's going to become mainstream. It's a tried and true technology. It's just a matter of it's just a matter of affordability now for the homeowner and the small business, and that's what. You know, this cooperative is all about is making it affordable and for Henry, for regular folks. Henry McKay, of course, is going to be the go-to guy for this cow. Introduce Henry for us. Henry is uh, the program manager for uh, the solar cooperative in our area and Pennsylvania as a whole. Um, and so he came, as Sir Shereen mentioned, it came out of the Sustainable Task Force. Henry came to speak to us at the uh, summit that we had in September, and he has just been a integral part of setting up this entire co-op for the region and he's just been wonderful (laughs) henry (laughs) henry can you break it down for us what are we talking about here for indiana and indiana county and so when we're talking solar energy yeah well you know on a day like today it's hard to imagine that solar does make sense in in indiana county but um the statistic i like to talk about is we are much sunnier than germany is um, all of Western Pennsylvania really is much sunnier than Germany is. Germany has Alaska levels of sunshine, but they have a ton more solar energy installed than we do. So it's not so much a matter of the climate. Um, we get enough sun here to make it work. It's a matter of, you know, people actually um, taking the time to do it. Um, so what we're doing is trying to make it easier and often cheaper to go solar by helping entire communities, you know, lots of people go solar together. And by going as a group you know, you can you can leverage your collective buying power, get a better deal on an installation, and then you also get a lot of support from my organization, Solar United Neighbors, to guide you throughout the process so you have kind of some technical guidance, um, reduce the risk, make it a little easier. When we talk about solar energy and its uses, um, we can talk about it as a sole use uh, type of thing or in combination with other sorts, uh, types of energy. Is that is that true? Yeah, well, what we're talking about is, is really people installing grid-tied solar systems on their house. So they're using a combination of energy from their solar panels and energy from the electrical grid like they do now. Um, and the idea is you can, you can offset up to 100% of your electricity usage from that solar if you want. And maybe in the summer you're producing more than you need and you're kind of earning bill credits on your electric bill, and then you spend those bill credits down in the winter when you're not producing as much as you need. Henry McKay on the telephone with us, Kyle Mudry and, uh, from Indiana Borough, and uh, Shireen Hess, Indiana County Commissioner, with us. Uh, Commissioner Hess, uh, this is, as I said, something that's been very close to you for a while, and it takes a lot of research uh, in order to make, um, to make the decisions that, that are being made here. And homeowners have to have their own idea of what they're getting into as well, don't they? Yeah, I think that's true. People are skeptical, and rightly so, of something new. And sometimes you don't want to be the trailblazer. You know, you need to have um, uh, your peers or you need to have the the technology be to a certain level for you to be comfortable with it. But I think that's what Solar United Neighbors and Henry McKay's group and our our task force can offer is a, you know, the the expertise in one place and that technical assistance. So to kind of take the the fear out of it. So the skeptics... um, can feel a little more comfortable about getting into this. 
And as you see it being implemented, obviously, among your neighbors or maybe down mm -hmm. down the road a mile or so, um, then you can see and, and you can actually discuss with them how it's working for them. Right on. It, it helps. Yeah. When you see your peers doing it, it makes it much easier. And like I said, there's the, the information base that can be you know, gain from being part of a cooperative is invaluable. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, you're not out there doing this alone. Yeah. Even yeah. though I know some people have done that in, in our community and they're, they'll testify that it's uh, terrific. And, and it is a way to, it's, it's not just about helping the environment. It's, it's a way to save money. You know, as electric bills go up, um, people, people need to be thinking about those things in terms of practicality. Absolutely. Kyle, yeah. let's talk about it from the Indiana borough perspective as a government. Mm -hmm. Um, well, it's just the, uh, the cooperative for the borough is just a great opportunity because we have a lot of buildings in the borough. <laughs> mm -hmm. So a lot of these buildings can be retrofitted and save the homeowners and the property owners money. So we just see it as an invaluable asset that it's just our, our council president sort of spearheaded uh, the borough taking charge on the cooperative. And we as staff fully support that and we are going to do everything we can to make sure everybody can come and learn about solar energy and if they can if they really sort of feel that it's best for them which i hope hopefully they do <laughs> then mm -hmm. we can uh we can really kind of take off and be a leader in renewable energy alternative energy in uh, Pennsylvania. From a municipal standpoint, uh, oftentimes it takes um, some hard numbers uh, in order to convince people to um, open up to the possibilities. Uh, was that the case with Indiana Borough, and do you have such hard numbers? Um, we don't have such hard numbers um, at the moment, but we do, we do feel that there has been a lot of excitement in general, and people have asked in the past sort of what kind of initiatives we have going with clean energy. Mm -hmm. And so I think that the excitement is there. And so whenever we have our information session, which is going to be hosted at the Borough Hall on Thursday, November 27th, 29th. 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 Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's 6.30 p.m. Um, yes. I feel like we will have a lot of people come out, hopefully, and be excited. Well, certainly, <laughs> certainly, Henry, you are going to be here to talk about um, exactly what people are, are going. Well, you're going to be able to answer the questions that everybody's going to have. I guess that's the best way to go at it. And, and uh, you're going to come armed with information. Now, what are some of the things that people have asked you at similar type meetings in other communities? Well, a, a lot of people ask about the costs, um, which is, of course, the first thing on your mind. It is, you know, solar has gotten a lot cheaper over the decades, and now it is, you know, basically affordable to um, a lot of middle-class families, where it used to be this kind of luxury boutique product. Now it's much more broadly available. Um, and if you, with a typical solar installation, if your house works for solar, not everyone does, if you spread out the cost of that solar installation over the 25-, 30-year life of the system, that's cheaper electricity than you're likely buying from the utility. So the, the savings are there. Um, it's really a matter of if you're able to either finance it or spend that upfront front, um, money. Um, and while we can't quote a price for how much it will cost right now, um, because we haven't run the competitive bidding process where the group will select their own solar installer, um, we do consistently see very competitive prices through the solar costs we've run. We've helped over 3,000 people go solar through this process, so it's a very well-oiled machine, and it really does lower a lot of barriers to going solar. I'm, I'm sure people ask you as well about um, the idea that all of a sudden I'm going to have this system on my property and it will require maintenance. Um, is that a big concern, or, is, or is system, are these systems pretty well contained right now so that uh, there's, there's not a whole lot of maintenance involved? They're very extremely, extremely low maintenance systems. There's no moving parts. Um, there's not a lot they can easily break, and the panels themselves are very durable. Durable, you know, they're made to withstand hailstone impacts, strong winds. So you shouldn't expect to see much, if any, maintenance costs over the life of your system. It is kind of a set in and forget it kind of deal. Kyle Mudry is with us uh, from Indiana Borough. Henry McKay is on the telephone with us. Indiana County Commissioner Shireen Hess is here as well. You keep referring back to that sheet there. Well, there must be some pretty good information there. I wanted to say there's some other financial benefits, and maybe Henry can back me up on this, but if you're a business owner, there are some provisions in the tax code to allow for, for credits uh, on your tax bill. Uh, and also the owners of the solar panels can 
go for credits, and I, apparently there's a, a credit trading apparatus out there that mm-hmm. you can sell your credits to that to that um, uh, credit apparatus and you know there's even further financial benefits than just what you will save in your electric bill Mm -hmm. so there's that and also i I wanted to mention that the utilities are are in on this uh, gig because they're required by the state law to have an an alternative energy portfolio as part of their offerings so it it helps really it helps them whenever homeowners and businesses get into this arena yeah. to offset their their um, obligations there. And you mentioned, of course, uh, this grew out of the Sustainable Economy Summit, mm-hmm. um, which means that the economic benefit is more than just for the individual homeowner. There's a municipal angle to it as well, and a countywide angle. Yeah, I think so. We, you know, we're the energy capital of the, of the United States, and so it makes sense that we're going to, in this region, going to lead the way on... Um, in Pennsylvania on, on, on solar energy. And, and there's some wind energy kinds of things going on, too, not necessarily in Indiana County, but that's an important mix in, in um, renewable energy portfolios. So, yeah, I mean, and it's an image thing. We're we're um, out here on the cutting edge of things, too. Mm-hmm. You know, even though we're in the countryside, we're we're doing it here, and there's a, there's a place for renewable energy. And it doesn't have to compete necessarily, but can complement uh, our traditional energy sources in, in Indiana County and places like here. Okay, Kyle, give us the uh, details again on the meeting that's coming up. The information session will be at Borough Hall on Thursday, November 29th at 6.30 p.m. Does any, do you, people also, need to reply ahead of time, RSVP or anything, or just um, show up? Um, we would ask that you RSVP, and a website will be shared on the borough's social media and posted on our website today. Okay. And, um, but if people are also encouraged to show up. All right. There you go. There you go. You'd like to know they're coming, but if they just – the schedule opens up and they can come, that they, you'd love for them to be there. Yep. Exactly. That's good. Very good. Henry, thanks. thanks <laughs> excuse me. Thanks for joining us on the phone here this morning. Thank you. Good talking with you. And uh, we'll look forward to your visit back here in Indiana. Kyle, Shireen. Thank thank you. you. Thank you both. It is the Voice of Indiana County, WCCS, AM 1160, 101.1 FM.